1964, a pivotal moment occurred that forever altered the way we perceive extraordinary encounters. Barney Hill, along with his wife Betty, claimed to have experienced an otherworldly encounter on the fateful nights of September 19th through the 20th, 1961, while traveling through the enigmatic White Mountains of New Hampshire. Their account was nothing short of astonishing. A bright, low-flying craft seemingly in pursuit of their car, eventually bringing him to an eerie standstill. The couple went to describe an inexplicable abduction, recounting their experience of being taken aboard the alien craft and subjected to a series of perplexing medical examinations by enigmatic humanoid beings. Seeking answers and understanding, the Hills turned to Dr. Benjamin Simon, a prominent Boston psychiatrist is renowned for his expertise in hypnotherapy and the exploration of repressed memories. In today's video, we delve deep into Barney Hill's hypnotic sessions with Dr. Simon, a journey that would uncover a narrative that has both captivated and confounded the world. Join us as we unravel the mystery surrounding the Hill's encounter and the enigmatic hypnosis sessions that would shape their extraordinary story. And I think this is a good place I can pull off. And 
if any car comes, it won't strike me. And I am empty. This is strange because it is still there. And Betty said, I think she said, I am mad with her, I said, I believe Betty is trying to make me think this is a flying saucer. Not quite enough to see, it's just a light moving through the sky. I, there's no noise, and I think this is ridiculous, and Betty, if it's not a flying saucer, what are you doing that for? You want to believe in this thing, and I don't. I'm 
look at this thing now. It's right over my right. God. What is it? And I try to maintain control so Betty could not tell I am scared. Ah, I'm scared. It's all right. You can go right on and experience it. It will not hurt you now. I got to get my gun. Tell me this is not there. It can't be. 
and Think of her. 
Is she saying anything? I can't hear her. Did you make any outcry to her, the way you did to me? I, 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 I can't remember. I don't know. I do not. You would remember that you did. I, I did not. That's... I know... This... This creature, this leader is telling me something. He's telling you something. I can see it in his face. Can you see how it moves? Yes. No. Can you see it? Yes. Go on. He's telling you. And then he's looking at me. What can he tell you? Stay there. And keep looking. Just keep looking and stay there. And just keep looking. Just keep looking. Okay, could you hear each other? Oh, I gotta pull these binoculars away from my eyes. Cause if I don't, I'll just keep staying there. Could you hear him tell you this? Oh no, he didn't say it. You felt he said it. Okay? I know. You know he just did. There. Yeah. Just stay there, he's saying to me. Yes, all right. I'll take you my head. All right. Pull all the right. binoculars away. God, give me strength. All right. All Pull right. it down. Pull the binoculars down. God, it says my God, give me strength. I gotta get away. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Get away from me. All right. Calm down. Calm down. I'm dying. I'm Calm gonna down. get away. Oh, oh. Well, I think you'll be sure he was telling you that. Uh, Calm down, you're still asleep. Well, how could you be sure he was telling you that? Guys. Guys. I've never seen his eyes before. <laughs> But you said oh. they were friendly. You said they were friendly. Oh, oh God. God, the leaders. I said to me, they were looking over his shoulder. Oh, I see. The leader was the... friendly. How did you know the other one was the leader? Because everybody moved. Everyone was standing there looking at me. But everybody moved. To these levers, or in the back, or they went to this big board. They look like it, it looked like a board, and only this one with the black, black shiny jacket and the scarf stayed at the window. I'm driving. You going back into the car now? Yes. <laughs> you took down your put down your binoculars, did you? I got them down. Yes. And you got into the car. What do you think the bedding? Getting a hold of myself. I'm saying hold for myself. Don't pay me. Drive the car. I 
I know. Big three. Oh. Oh, so bad. You're there in my brain. Oh, please. And I was. I have faith a little longer. Oh. We'll get through this now, all right. We'll get through it, all right. All your feelings won't on me. They won't upset you so much. There, there. Isn't that funny? I don't know what. Uh, he stays in the car all the time. That's funny. He stays in the car. Does the doesn't bark do anything? Uh, he just stays there. What about Betty? in my mind and I don't want to say it. Well, you can say it to me. You can say it now. They're men. All with black jackets. And I don't have any money. I don't have anything. I'm not in the woods. I'm not on the road. 
Well, where are these men? I don't know. On the road. I don't know. I'm just floating about. <laughs> oh, geez. That's the funniest thing, Betty. Funniest thing. I never believed in flying saucers, but I don't know. Mighty mysterious. Yeah. Well, I just don't want to say anything to anybody about this. Who do you think of it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really funny. I wonder where they came from. Oh, geez, I'm just back to go on with them. Do you wish that I'd go on with them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very interesting, both from distant planet. Maybe this will prove the existence of God. Isn't that funny? Just for the existence of God and not the planet. Were you scared? I wasn't. No, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid anyway. Because I didn't think it was just what I thought about it. Yeah. Well, we're we getting into Portsmouth a little later than I expected. All right, we'll stop there. You will be calm and relaxed. You will forget everything that we have had period together until I ask you to recall it again. You'll forget everything we have had done until I ask you to recall it again. You may wait now. Wow. Ten minutes after eight. Didn't you bring me in here ten minutes after eight? Okay. Where was I? Right here. Hey. Where's my cigarette? Was I about to reach for a cigarette? Look that way. Go ahead and have one. I thought he was coming in here and asked me to take this seat, this chair, and then I was going to reach for a cigarette, but I never reached for it. So how do you feel? I feel fine. Good. You know what happened here? I know you put me into a stand. I know the purpose of it, but I don't know. All right, all right, we'll continue this next week, the week from today. What was it you saw down the highway? I saw a group of men, and they were standing in the highway, and they came. I'm 
Johnny, I thought of my feet bumping on the rocks. And they are going up smoothly. But I'm afraid to open my eyes because I am being told strongly by myself to keep my eyes closed and don't open them. And I don't want to be operated on. You don't want to be operated on. What makes you think of an operation? I don't know. You were thinking about this when you were there on the road? I was thinking about this when I was lying on my stomach. Where were you lying on your stomach? I... I... I was inside something, but I did not dare open my eyes. I have been told to keep my eyes closed. Who told you that? The man. What? That I saw. The of the knocker. Was this one of the men in the road? No. Well, who were these men in the road? Or what part did they play in? They took me. Everything. Up this man. Did they feel you were going to be operated on? No. Did you feel you were going to be attacked in any way? No. I was laying on the table. And my fly was open. And I saw a they putting a cup around my private part. And then it stopped. Thunder and touched her 
Barney Hill died on February 25, 1969, at the age of 46. His death was claimed to be not directly related to the alleged UFO encounter. Instead, Barney Hill's death was a cerebral hemorrhage, which is a type of stroke that occurs when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures or leaks. The question regarding if their alien encounter had something to do with a possible medical experiment performed on him which may have instigated his passing is one we will never know the answer to.